just to throw some light of the understanding of how the endometrium changes. So we divide the cycle into the follicular phase and the luteal phase. The follicular phase, the endometrium starts developing in response to estrogen. The second part of the treat cycle is the luteal phase where the progesterone effect starts with the pregnancy start, may start developing. So the question is, why do we get a trilamina appearance? And that's in the follicular phase. The estrogen rises uh, and it increases the endometrial thickness. It starts stimulating linear growth of endometrial glands and blood vessels. Uh, now, what we also see is that the trilamina appearance seems to come due to growth of glands which throw a little reflection on the back of the ultrasound waves between the myometrial and the endometrial junctions and the midline luminal endometrial layer. So you have got fluid collection and you start seeing uh, a contrasting line that occurs uh, due to glands full of fluid. And this seems to give a typical appearance of trilamina. Most importantly, how long does it last? And some people, a lot of people of us think that as soon as ovulation occurs, there's a change and immediately uh, the chilining changes. And the answer is no, it is it changes later on. And it seems to slow down two to three days after ovulation and follows into the second phase. So remember, if you see ovulation, if you see a fall collapse follicle, but you see a trilamina, ovulation may still have occurred. If you look at the progesterone endometrium, a continued growth of glands and vessels under the influence of progesterone. Uh, and these results in coiling of the glands and vessels and the glands start collecting glycogen in the lumens. And that's how you see a slightly different change. Now, the, the luteal head progesterone is a very interesting progesterone. And also it has a very interesting effect on the endometrium. One is it starts preparing to accept a pregnancy. So it's proliferation of T cells, macrophages, lymphoid nodules. These changes result in increased endometrial density that reflects the ultrasound waves. And very different from the trilamina, where you start seeing uh, a, 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 a much you know, larger density, which starts giving the, a, a slightly different appearance. And this endometrial density it reflects a homogeneous bright pattern, which is seen on 2D scan. Now, the change of ultrasound change from a trilamina to a bright homogeneous pattern is characteristics of luteal phase transition that occurs before or after ovulation. And that is something which we tend to understand. But remember, in some cases, you do not see uh, a trilamina appearance, where, again, in metabolic PCOS, in cases of damaged endometrium, you do not seem to see the typical uh, lining that becomes trilamina. And uh, again, there is a conflicting data whether pregnancy rates are reduced or not. So thank you very much.